Yes, and we did a lot of that during the late 80s and early 90s. We did uh, a lot of brain mapping using um, 18 channels, 16 channels active uh, on the head to map the cortex of what was happening. But again, once we satisfied ourselves with how that was happening, consulted with neurologists and saying, we're doing this and this is the result of what we're getting, and them saying to us, this must be the mechanism of action because you can show what your input is, you can show what your output is, and the mechanism of action must be this based on the wet system of the brain, what they understand, what the neurologists understand about how the brain works. So there is objective evidence that this is actually happening. But I think we need to go one step further because what is going on in your brain waves isn't exactly the same thing as what is it that you're experiencing. To get a simpler, simpler explanation of that is I can measure the sleep patterns that you have through the night and say, listen, you were dreaming here, you were dreaming here, and you were dreaming here. But you might wake up in the morning and say, I don't remember dreaming. And I can say, no, 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 physiologically, you were dreaming. And you can say, no, I wasn't. Well, that's that mind awake, body asleep thing. You weren't consciously aware. And even if we go beyond that consciously aware thing, and you can say, yes, I remember clearly I was water skiing. Now, my instruments don't tell me that. I can only see you were dreaming. I have no idea about the content of your experience. And that's what is interesting about hemisync, this idea of moving to different states of consciousness. We know that physiologically it happens, but we cannot guarantee the actual experience you're going to have. That depends on you. That depends on what your intent is, perhaps, what the research scientists call set and setting. But the uh, it, going to Focus 10, does everybody have the same experience in Focus 10? No. We can see statistically similar brainwave pattern changes, but that is not a measurement of the experience you're having. So there's two different things there.